Hi everyone, Tom here. Going to do a quick impressions video of Herdling and Royalty Free For All from PAX in this combo video. So let's dive in. So Tom, you're fresh back from PAX. I hear you want to talk about some games, including one called Herdling, which I guess you are herding things. Is that right? That's right. Uh, you're herding. This is published by Panic. Uh, Panic being behind the Playdate and some other games too. Like they published Firewatch back in the day. So that's what kind of made me interested in Hurling, and Hurling is made by developer Okomotive that has done a series called Far, and which I didn't hear about, but this is like going to be Panic's biggest game yet, basically. It um, looks big, looking at the trailer. Yeah, it's got a pretty epic feel to it, and <laughs> so you're herding these animals that kind of look like a muskox, if you know what that's like. It's like a Canadian Arctic animal. It kind of caught me, it reminded me of a cross between flower and eco almost in the way it looks like seeing those eyes <laughs> and it's like but on that note it's like is this going to be really sad at the end because i did talk to uh, don schmacher uh, co-founder and creative director and fabio baumgartner a uh, game designer programmer and sound designer for the game and yeah they said hurlings can die like there will be predators and stuff that can t attack you now i didn't go deep into it like if they die, can you not bring them back? Or is it just a game over and you start over again? Like, I didn't want to It'd go... It'd be so sad if you truck this entire world with nothing to herd. Just, I know, it's just, just you. alone. <laughs> yeah. And it's just somber music the rest of the way. Like, look what you've done. <laughs> <laughs> you, you pass, like, a, occasional, like, reminders of what you've done. Like a tombstone or something. <laughs> Yeah, but for me, in my life, like, I love nature, uh, going camping and stuff growing up, and the trailer certainly reminded me of that. And I certainly got that feel when I was herding them through a giant pasture, and, like, these, the herdling, or I always want to call them herdlings, they're actually called a calicorn in the game. They, when they run over different flowers, they'll gain different abilities, and, like, their fur coat will change, like, as, as if they're magical creatures. And from there, they can stampede and go quicker going along. So it was at that moment of the gameplay demo where it's like, wow, well, it's kind of feeling a little bit, a little bit slow. Like I know like a relaxing pace, but right there on cue, it sped up. There'll be other hazards, like natural hazards, like going over these hedges. They walk slower. Like in the trailers, definitely rivers and stuff. So very easy demo. I'm hoping it gets a bit harder going on. The thing I want to talk about most though is like when I started the demo, I'm like what the heck is this? this is, I was in a city. I'm like, this is not what I signed up for. Like a dreary city. Yeah. Uh, Seattle? <laughs> yes. Not quite Seattle. There was no <laughs> Space Needle, but it was on cue for a Seattle and Vancouver fall. Uh, <laughs> what it looks like with gray clouds. And you're kind of freeing them. You get the idea of working together with them because that's one of the goals. Like you're, you're working together as a team, opening gates, uh, doing different things to get to your like end goal that is it a little pikmin like at all like the way you described it sounds a little pikmin like but i don't know if it actually plays that way at all the thing is you're kind of pivoting behind them and you just wave your wand and a, a stream of flowers comes out that kind of guides them guides to where them. they go it's not so much that you're sending them to do tasks from this demo is what i've seen it's more about uh guiding them and which the AI was great for that. I never ran into any things like, what the heck are you doing? Like, they all, they're they're doing what I want. Like, it was, it was excellent in that regard. The uh, neat thing is that there's different paintings in the game that you have to figure out with their magic how to get the painting to kind of be fully done. And, uh, yeah, finally, uh, like the whole goal of the game, as I was talking to them, is about reaching the end of a mountain. Like, obviously, <laughs> mountains being such a great centerpiece of video games like rising that challenge um, for all these reasons like really giving the feeling of being in nature i'm looking forward to it that's awesome uh so real quick like do you herd them all at once or can you direct like can you split the group up and direct both in different ways or how like how does that work are you trying to like keep them together so they don't get attacked i'm a little confused on what the actual gameplay is but yeah the gameplay is like leading them to an end goal and like working together to uh get past challenges but in the demo I played currently they're all together working together to get other hurdlings out you team them they join you so far it appears that they're all together in one herd all the times it is possible that they'll you'll separate them to do little things because there's obviously one big one and a few little small ones I think it'll be more helping them as a pack with you get over different challenges in the environment
All right. Well, that sounds good. So is that uh, is that out anytime soon? Do you know, Tom? Or it's going to be out on PC and consoles in 2025. So it's looking really good, but still uh, a little ways off. Got it. All right. Well, thanks for telling us all about hurdling there, Tom. And uh, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for us here, right? Yep. Uh, on to our next game. I hear you played a a game that's a little Smash Brothers like, and every time I hear that, my ears always perk up. So tell me about this game that you played called Royalty Free for All, or should I say, Royalty Free for All? <laughs> that's right. Imagine a game using fighters from the public domain that are free to use, <laughs> such as Dorothy and having Toto from Wizard of the Oz in there, or Sweeney Todd. I mean. Uh, or Lilith. Yeah, it's made being made by Colin McIsaac and a few other people. Uh, this is Colin uh, has had this idea, hilariously enough, from Codename Steam. It, and it's like, how is this inspired by Codename Steam? Well, when playing that game, there, he was like, there's Abraham Lincoln in it, and he's like, how'd they pull that off? But at the same time, there are other characters in that game from public domain, and he's like, why didn't they pick better ones? <laughs> so that was kind of his inspiration behind this game. This might be the first and only game to be inspired by Codename Steam, so I respect it. <laughs> yes, like Codename Steam meets Smash Brothers. No, it's definitely just the idea of it, not the gameplay. Uh, the gameplay itself, of course, very Smash Brothers-like. What I've seen so far, like it was just announced before PAX. So. Yeah, yep. brand new. There were four fighters on the show floor. I got to play a ton of matches. Perhaps most importantly... To mention, there is going to be rollback netcode. Not online. even Smash Brothers has rollback netcode, so that's big. That's a big deal. I know. To me, Smash is a completely different game online than in person. So, Pretty despite much. this being a party game that I type of game I love, uh, also, you know, very online friendly. Part of it that intrigues me is that in this game, it's simpler than Smash. And I asked, like, Colin, aren't you worried about like all the other Smash likes? He's like, no, there's just you know, the three button presses, like they kind of simpler in that regards, which I think will be good because many of my friends who maybe don't play games quite as often, when we get around to playing party games, like Smash isn't there as much for us now. Like we're more playing mm. Mario Kart, simpler games. I think this will be uh, more appealing to a broader audience of people who maybe don't play games, like who aren't like hardcore gamers, if that makes sense. It, it, so is it simpler in that there's fewer moves, or is the pace slower, uh, or...? Fewer moves. Like, there's still shield, there's still, like, a short hop and stuff. Like, you can still dodge quickly. It's just that the, there's only, like, one button. It's not as much with, like, different okay. moves in each direction. I see. Yeah, that I can see that definitely making it a little bit more accessible, or maybe a lot more accessible even. It is kind of funny that Smash started off as an accessible fighting game, it's still, and it still is to a degree, but definitely has become less so over the generations. And it's to the point where if I'm playing with someone who's new to that game, I really have to like purposely like cap my own, you know, how hard I'm playing, right? <laughs> so yeah. they can stand a chance and not get murdered instantly. Um, I'm sure other people do that for me too. I'm not like an expert or anything. How does the damage work? Because, you know, in Smash, a big part of it is like your damage meter goes up and you fly farther. Is that how that works here or is it, does it work a little differently? Yeah, it works the same here. So it's still got that essence of Smash in it. That, I'm all about that. Yeah. Yes, that's 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 what that PlayStation All-Stars game was missing. You need, if you're gonna copy Smash, just go all the way. <laughs> Something to like in a game expo, you don't get to hear audio a lot, even with headphones. Uh, hearing the audio after and the uh, B or in the recorded footage we have, it's quite good, quite classic sounds. Like the levels and audio too are also from public domain, so that's a nice <laughs> little touch to this. I will say the presentation from what I've from a little. From what little I've seen of it, it looks really good. The art style looks like it's on point, it's unique. And uh, you add to that, the music you're talking about, I'm sure this looks like it's going to be a really fun time. I mean, did you have fun playing it? Yeah, I did. And uh, yeah, fun little touches like Mother Goose catching onto her edge with her beak and spinning around and hopping up. Like, I love little flourishes like that in the animation. One thing I'm wondering about, like, I, there's no items in it yet. I find items are kind of easier for uh, new players being in Smash or to help balance things out. They do have, on their website, a form you can fill out to wish for characters. So, just like the Smash Ballot, they have a ballot too. I like Wish. Feels like something that would tie into the public domain. You know, a lot of those classic stories have Wishes involved in them, so that's a kind of a cute touch, I guess. If that's if that's the actual word they're using. Yeah. Yeah, alright. Tom, anything else we, knew, we need to know about this game, or is that pretty much it? 
that's pretty much it for now. Keep an eye out for it. Definitely promising, even only with four characters so far. And I'm sure there's more to come, I imagine. Yeah. I guess. Have they said anything about that? Or Not, well, I, mean, I guess they have the, the wish ballad. But, yeah, they have the wish yeah. ballad. There'll definitely be more characters later on. A neat touch is that Lilith had a Justin Bailey Metroid uh, color palette. I thought that was nice. I thought that was pretty amusing. With that. Wait, what's what's Lilith from? Uh, I think just you know religion and uh, stuff like that. I don't know. It's an Evangelion. It's in a okay. lot of things. I hear, I hear Lilith. I think Frasier. I think Frasier's ex-wife. I think so. that's what she's, that's probably what she's named after based on how she was in that show. Maybe. All right, Tom, thanks for telling us all about Royalty Free For All, a, a very clever title. And I'm actually looking forward to checking out myself, you know, whenever it releases. Just announced Still last release. week, so. All right. Still cooking. All right, well, well, thanks for watching, everyone. Our uh, quick impressions of Royalty Free For All. If you want to check out more from PAX, check out our other videos in which we uh, explored a few others of Tongue Valley Play. So with that, thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye, everyone.